Hello YouTube and users. Um just IT guy 20 here again. And um I have upgraded my battery backup system. Um I'm just going to show you. Um so I have a um deep cycle battery soon to get another one. And um that goes straight into my box just like the old one except it's rerouted a little bit differently so you see it goes straight into the side here and then in the box I have um, this is where all the cords come in and out and then I have a lamp a couple extra cords just in case I want to hook something up um, positive side, negative side that one has to go out there because I ran out of room right here and there so that goes up to the um, inverters now um, I have a 10 amp fuse in here just because I need it and this one doesn't have its own fuse which I actually don't very much like about it but um yeah, I need to reconnect that fan. It gets a little bit warm in here. But I have the whole thing running on a... Um, I have the whole thing running on a 15 amp fuse. I'm not sure if you can see that. And this is just a little junction. Don't worry about that. But this comes through this cable. And it comes into the top inverter which then goes down to this outlet and then this goes up to the main switch uh, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this did you hear that? it was the uh, inverters and um, so yeah this is a uh, 400 watt inverter and this one's a 420 the 420 actually goes up to a um, special outlet. Um, I'm not quite sure what these are called, but they have their own safety switch in them. And uh, the 400 just goes into a standard outlet. I want to get one of these for it, but I don't. I don't know where to get them. Probably a yeah, Radio Shack or something. And then uh, it's just another tractor battery. I'm not sure if you can see that it's leaking. If anybody knows how to stop these things from leaking, because this thing, I just reconditioned this. This thing actually hasn't been used in like four years. I didn't add or take out any fluid. Um, I just put it on a reconditioning device. And, um, oh yeah, never, don't forget the first aid. And those of you that are wondering, if you want to um, clean up a um, sulfuric acid spill, Use pure baking soda. It neutralizes the acid. And then I've got some band-aids and I'm gonna put some cream in there too. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day or night or whatever it is when you're watching this vid.